Okay, welcome everybody. How's it going for you in Dreamforce? Yay! Excited, woohoo, great. So how many of you have not heard about Trailhead? Nobody, nobody. Anybody who is new to Trailhead world? Good, so this session is meant for those people who do not know anything about Trailhead. Because in the such a busy schedule, we may feel that Trailhead is all around, but we are here to help you understand how to make best use of Trailhead to have your best experience in your life of learning. So myself, uh, Amit Malik, I am working as a delivery manager for Salesforce. My Twitter handle is at Amit Malik US. So I'm here to help you how to use Trailhead to become a developer. I remember my time when I started learning about Salesforce. If I am an administrator, I always have a fear in my mind that I cannot become a developer. Anybody who is an administrator over here who would like to become a developer? One, two, three. OK, great. So for those people, it is an excellent way to start learning, because I believe what we need to do, what we need to know about for our jobs, we should learn that skill. And in that case, age is not the matter. Whether we are young or whether we are old, if we want to learn something, we can learn at any age. And that's where Trailhead fits into. You can learn from your room, inside your best office, and you can learn at your own pleasure. So I will teach you the skills, how to take use of this knowledge, and how to make use of this Trailhead to have that skill. So, I will focus on six highlights. First, what is a trailhead? I'm sure you must have learned by now in this, everywhere it's mentioned, trailhead is a fun way to learn about Salesforce. That's our marketing pitch. But I would help you understand more from usage perspective, as a learner perspective, as a consumer, how do you consume trailhead? Then we'll talk about how do we get started? How do we sign up? How do we log into trailhead? We'll talk about different learning paths. Now, if I want to categorize this audience, we are having administrators, raise your hand, administrators. Developers, raise your hand. Now, then we have third category of business analysts. Fourth category, architects. Fifth category, business people. And so and so forth. We have so many roles. So everybody cannot learn everything, but we can learn what we need for our roles. So first, you need to identify which role do you belong to. And that's how we can, once you know the role, for every role, we have a learning path. And then we talk about trail mixes. What are trail mixes? We'll talk about how do you score the points? How do we get different badges? And then finally, we talk about the career path in the Salesforce world. So what is Trailhead? So Trailhead, as we say, is a fun way to learn Salesforce. Now people ask me, Amit, how we can have fun when we learn? I always think that learning is the difficult stuff, because in day-to-day -day life, when I ask people, when did you last learn something new? I say, I learned long back. We don't have a habit of learning. But how can we have a fun way to learn? So we thought, how can we create a way to help your learning fun? And we have three pillars for learning. The first pillar is learn. You should learn the skills. Let's say, have you heard about the word Einstein? Do you know a lot about it? What is Einstein? Have you heard about the word that next big technology is artificial intelligence in the world? Have you heard about such words? Do you know what is machine learning? How is machine learning different from deep learning? What is lightning? How to make a lightning? How is, what is lightning experience? We are constantly changing. Now, how do we get a hold on that knowledge nuggets, which we are launching every now and then? So that's how you can start finding out, I want to learn about the skill, say Einstein, and start learning that skill. But fine, you have learned the skill. How do you prove that you have actually learned the skill? Then we can earn the badges. We can prove to ourselves, not to the whole world, 
I don't want to showcase my knowledge to the whole world, which is fine, which is good to showcase, but I first want to prove myself that I am growing in my skills month after month. As I am analyzing my corporate data, I want to analyze my data. Am I growing in my life, in my skills? So we can have earning. And the third pillar is connect. It will be good to connect with the same people who are like-minded and who would like to learn what you are learning. So how many of you know about success.salesforce.com? How many of you know the new name for that? Anybody? Trailblazer, 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 great. That's a new name we have, Trailblazer. So how can you use that Trailblazer community to leverage that what challenges, what problems the other people are facing in their organizations, and you can leverage those knowledge. So you, it's a habit, I would say. It's not about learning in five days. You can't learn in one day or five days. It's a continuous process of learning. It's an attitude towards learning how you train your mind that I will learn every day, every week, every month, every year, a new skill. And that's how we grow in our life. So what are the three pillars of Trailhead? Learn. Second pillar is earn. And third pillar is connect. I do not want you to memorize them. I want you to understand them. So sometimes we just make a marketing page, learn, earn, and connect, fun way to learn Salesforce. We can cram these words. But what I'm here is, I'm helping you understand a deep philosophy of learning behind it. Because I'm an education instructor. I've been teaching for the last 18 years. So my passion is to talk about Salesforce, learn about Salesforce, share the knowledge. And that's why I'm sharing a deep thinking about this awesome learning online platform. So a lot of talking so far. Talking is not so fun. I believe action is the fun. So if you do not have login to your Salesforce, let me share with you how to make a login. Anybody who do not have a login in sales, uh, Trailhead? I heard you are the new one. Do you have a login to Trailhead? You already have it. Awesome. So we can access Trailhead by going to trailhead.salesforce.com. And I come over here, and I can click on login. If you don't have a login, you can click on sign up. And you can sign up with your social profile or your Salesforce account. As you all of you have access, I, I'm not going over here. I click on login. I use my social profile, say Google. And now with the social sign on, I can log into my trailhead. Now once I'm logged in, I will see the trailhead homepage. Now I'm sure many of you must have seen this page. But I would like to focus on different sections of this page. So if you see over here, we have trails, we have modules, we have projects, super badges, trail mixes, trail blazers. Many times when we start working on trailhead, we don't focus on these words. And how do they make sense? So what is a trail as per you? Anybody in the audience group, what is a trail? So trail is a collection of modules and projects which defines the learning path which map to the role, as I was talking about. So if you are working as a developer and you want to become a developer, then we have a developer trail. If you want to become an administrator, we have an administrator trail. So trail is equal to modules plus projects. And then when you combine them, you get a learning path. So trail is an example of a learning path. So let me show you some trails over here. So I come over here, and I go to trails. And I choose a trail. And my role is developer. Now once I identify developer, now we are at different levels of knowledge. Many times I have seen that advanced developer may tell to a junior developer, oh, it's too tough. You can't learn this. And for those people, I say, you can learn if you want to learn. Learning has no boundaries. So if you are at the level of beginner, start from beginner, and then move to intermediate, then move to the advanced level. And that's how you grow in your learning path. So now you choose a developer trail. And we have a trails over here. Now I am interested in 
developer beginner trail. Now, many times you are walking, talking to people, you keep on coming across many trails, and you may forget after, say, 20 minutes, you go back somewhere, you may forget which trail was he talking about. So we have a very cool feature over here where we can add the favorites. So you can just click over here, and you can add favorites to the trail. When you add favorites, next time when you access through your account, you will get what you feel you need to learn. Like I keep on adding favorites for I want to learn about machine learning. I want to learn about Einstein, Einstein discovery, how the Einstein vision works. I want to learn about the upcoming knowledge. I keep on putting favorites. That's how I know what I want to learn. So in this case, if I click on this developer beginner trail, We teach you step by step about platform fundamentals. What is a platform? How do we work on object model? How do we create custom objects? So we give you step by step learning process, data modeling, data management, security, formulas, automation, and so on and so forth. So complete path has been created for you as a beginner if you want to start learning about developer. Now, a, a quick check. Do you think this kind of structured, organized approach is motivational for you to start learning? If yes, just raise your hand. Thank you. Do you feel that this level of understanding is helping you understand Trailhead better now? Believe me, when I started learning about Trailhead, I was not knowing this much. Only by working on Trailhead and using it in my day-to-day -day life and experiencing it, I started loving it. Now I have a habit of learning Trailhead. Whenever I get some time on 30 minutes, 20 minutes, I try to work on Trailhead to improve myself. Not to prove to my boss, but to prove to myself. That's how I'm working in my day-to-day -day life. So we have talked about this, Trails. Now what is next? We have modules. So what is a module? Now I was talking to a experienced developer, and he said that, hey, Amit, I don't have time for all these trails. Should I do a project, or should I work on trailhead? I said, you should work on project, obviously. Your salary will come from that project, not from the trailhead. But how will you maintain your salary if you don't know the future? I said, that's the point. But if I want to learn, say, I want to learn about Einstein vision. Have you heard about the word Einstein vision? Anybody? He has heard it. Oh, who? So what is Einstein vision? Any idea, sir? Einstein vision. Image recognition. I could sense it. Image recognition. Well done. So if you want to know this much, you need not learn everything about Salesforce platform. You can search for a platform module on Einstein vision and start learning about it. So module is for a specific topic. Trail is collection of modules and project. So what is a module? A single topic. A single topic could be anything. So when you are an experienced learner, you may not want to learn the trail. You can just pick up a module and search for that and start learning about that topic. Now what is next? After module, we have projects. So what are projects? So project is some people learn by listening to people. Some people learn by doing. How many of you learn by doing? So those who are raising their hands, they belong to developer community. Because developers learn by doing, not by watching slides. So imagine if I keep on showing you the slides, you will say, hey, boring, let me go, let me move. But when I say, I'm showing you how to use the application, oh, that makes sense. I never thought like that. So now you are able to have a connection with me. I'm trying to make a brain-to-brain -brain connection with my speech with you. So in this way, we understand how to use this and I can use my projects. So if I go to projects, and I can build a project, say I want to learn about how to build a cat rescue app that recognizes cat breeds. So do you know, uh, does it sound interesting that you want to make an intelligent app which can recognize the breed of the cat as you upload the new images of the cat your app should be able to classify the breed, whether it is a British short hair, whether it is a Bengal tiger, which kind of breed does it have? Does it sound like a cool project? Yes or no? 
Yes. So if it sounds good, then you can learn this by doing a project. And this project, when you start doing, we will teach you what is Einstein vision, how do you use Einstein vision to make usage of making a lightning app which can do this job. Now, you do not know anything about this, but if you know how to learn this, you can spend two hours or three hours and learn about Einstein vision. And just for your knowledge, I am presenting this session tomorrow and day after tomorrow in our Hilton Hotel for two and a half hours on how to make this app, school apps, using Einstein vision. So that's the idea of the project. If you learn how to do it, you can learn using this projects. Then next we have is super badges. What are super badges? Have you heard about super badges? Cool, very good. Have you achieved them? Two of them. Can you please clap for him? Wonderful. So people who have achieved super badges, I have a special respect for them. Because super badges means you really understand how to apply that skill in the real world. It's not about knowing a module. It's about applying the module to solve a real use case. And that's why I encourage you, make a habit of learning super badges. And then we have trail mixes. What is a trail mix? Trail mix is when we mix and match various trails, various modules, various projects, and we make a custom trail mix for you. So we are making custom trail mixes for you. Let me show you what is that. I click on trail mixes. And I click on discover trail mix. Before hearing about trail mix, I have heard about music mixing, where we mix multiple music songs and we tap our lap, we dance on those musics. But here we have a trail mix, where we can combine multiple modules and we can learn about a particular feature. So let me show you a trail mix on how to become an awesome developer. I click on this. I click on show all. If I come down, I come down, I come down. I have an awesome trail mix by the name. Build your developer career on Salesforce. If you want, you can take a photograph of this. It's a trail mix which covers everything what you want to know about how to become a developer. I assure you, if you take this trail mix for next one year, and when we meet next year for Dreamforce, you will meet me and say, Amit, that one moment of yours changed my whole life because I was just working on Trailhead and I was working on this trail of the Trailhead and that changed my whole perspective of life. So once you have this clicked, now when you click on this trail mix, I click on this trail mix and here we have complete trail mix for you, how to become a beginner developer, how to become an intermediate, how to become an advanced. So as for your pace, you can start learning. If you're building a competency in your organization, you're hiring a newcomer who wants to build up a Salesforce knowledge, just tell them to do this trail mix for next two months, three months, six months. And at that age, I remember if you're young, you have time. When you're old, you don't have time. So that's why we are having a trade-off between time and learning. So this can be a useful resource to start learning on on your own about how to become a developer. Do you think it is helpful? If you think that this trail mix and this knowledge which I shared is helpful, raise your hand, please. Awesome. Raise your second hand now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.